popcorn, bitch, shell popping at the car. 3400 Northside, Char Bark. No. Oh, hey, hey, Ferrari. Right. Make her get on top of me and rob me like a heart. Right. She wanna keep me company and never want to bar me. No. The bar me. Yeah, fish tail in the parking lot. I don't kick it with these niggas. Hey guys, it's your boy Prince, and I'm back with another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a minute, but I've really been trying to catch up with school. Um, I just came back from a little three-day trip with my advanced my advanced environmental science class, and it was amazing. But that's another video for another day. Today I'm coming to you with some real juicy tea about the drama that's been going on in my school, and it's ridiculous. So let's get into the video. So this video is gonna be about this girl. We're gonna call her. We're gonna call her Brittany. And Britney is really messy. Like, I thought I was messy. No, Britney is messy. And Britney, let me give you a brief description of Britney. Britney is like a leech. Like, she just drains the energy out of you. Like, she's just so tiring to be around. And she hops from a group to group. Like, oh my god. She's just so... Mm. Um... Me and Brittany, at one point, we were really close friends. But Brittany started, you know, just hopping around from this group to this group to this group. And just was, she just was doing a lot of messy stuff that she should not have been doing. And it was just like, girl, you say you're my friend, but I don't see it at all. Like, get it together. So, let me give you an example. I'll just give you a story talking about Brittany. So... A while back, Brittany was like, um, we're going to be friends again. She wanted to be cool because we did get into an argument. And, you know, I was like, I, it's senior year. I'm not beefing with nobody because, girl, I just don't have time for it. Like, when it comes to these bitches, when it comes to these hoes, like, I'm just, I'm a vegan with this shit. Like, I just can't, can't be around the beef, can't be around the, just can't be around the meat, any processed unprocessed i can't do it she's just toxic but i say you know let me not hold a grudge senior year let me be nice to these hoes so i decided to be nice to britney and we was key keying it up you know trying to be friendly trying to be cordial but like i said britney's very wish-washy she just hops from group to group so britney decides one day that she's gonna take well, she didn't take, she asked me, can she see my work? Because, you know, we, like, a class that she's together, we graduate together, we gotta help each other out. So, Brittany was just doing the most. Like, she was just asking my work, kept asking, I was like, all right, let me give her my work. Here you go, Brittany. You know, give it back to me when you're done. I'm thinking she just about to, you know, see what she was missing, write down a couple things. Brittany gave me my homework back two weeks later. And within those two weeks... She stopped talking to me. I was like, girl, you definitely got my homework. You gonna stop talking to me? Are you dumb, stupid, and retarded? Like, so, being the lovely person I am, I write to teacher. I was like, um, says, she's talking about she was going to look to see what she was missing and get my homework back two weeks later, and I know she copied my homework. Like, that's unacceptable. My teacher, she's so, like, innocent and cute. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna talk to her. I, I just don't understand why she would do that. I'm like, ma'am, me neither. Like, I just, I just wanna pass. I don't have time for it. And then, girl, you know she was pressed. Like, a panini. A p girl, she was pressed. So, I just didn't have time for it. I was like, I'm gonna go tell my teacher because what you're not gonna do is be fake to me again. Mm mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. But I couldn't do it, so I told my teacher whatever. And then, like I said, I went on my little three-day trip. It was amazing. I'm in the woods living my best life. And I come back, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm back in school. And the first day back, Brittany ain't come to school. But Brittany came to school on Friday. And I'm in there chatting up with my good sis, me and my other sis, we're going to call her, mm, what we going to call her? We're going to call my other sis, we're going to call her Wanda. 
So I'm Kiki number one. To me, one's like Kiki, 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 talking about working all that. And Brittany just walks in mad loud. And she's just like, I'm not gonna have my name. My, I'm not gonna have the bio's name in my mouth. And we're just like, do you want attention, sweetheart? Because it's like whatever o'clock in the morning. Whatever o'clock. And you're just so damn loud. Like, bring it down. But she was just really being real extra, and I just didn't have time for it. And I was, first of all, me and Wanda was key keen, but, like, I was low-key falling asleep. So I was in my chair, like, and laughing with Wanda. And she was just coming to, like, ruin my whole mood and just woke me up. I was like, I, like, I need to eat my chopped cheese yet, drink my Arizona, and you just want to be so fucking loud. Like, breakfast didn't even, I didn't even start my breakfast yet. And then, she has this thing where she tries to, like, be all buddy buddy with my ex as if it's gonna hurt me sweetie he's gay you can it's nothing you can do to make me jealous when it comes to my ex someone i had like sweetheart try again pick yourself up and try again because you failed like you really failed like don't do it to yourself you're you're a failure you failed and it's like you know at that moment, she felt like she's not a failure at life because she, she's actually pretty smart and she's really talented. But, like, I don't know what it is, but she just swears there's competition and I don't see it because the only competition I see is myself. I'm my biggest competition because, you know, it's only one me. I have to live my best life. I have to live it. I can't deal with the drama. But she just was trying to be so petty. And then, as we're in first period, I'm just like paying attention to what's going on because it was like, it's my seeing distinction project. So, it's like an acting class. So, I'm just there looking. I look around. And I look on the corner because my friend, my other friend is sitting in the corner where Brittany was. And Brittany's like this. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stare back because, like, what are you looking at? She just was staring. I was like, I think she wants to be me because she was staring kind of hard. She was just like, and I was like, all right. So I'm looking at the project or whatever that was happening. And I turned my neck and she's still looking at me. I was like. All right, you're kind of, it's a little creepy now. Like, I feel like I'm just examining everything I do. It's like writing it down. And then, oh, I am a little sick. So if you hear me sniffling, I'm a little sick. But, and then throughout the day, she just like, every time I come around, she just wants to be loud and just obnoxious and annoying. And I don't have time to deal with it. I don't. I don't. Because you want to be technical, like, Backtrack when we got into a little argument that happened before, she was just being real extra and trying to be real cute and petty. But then a few weeks later, wanted to call me as if I'm supposed to give as if, as if I'm supposed to care about what she's going through after she just tried to like do this whole little extra ness. Like, sweetheart, I can care less about what you're going through right now. Like, we're not friends, we're not friends. So, you know, in, in my head, I should have known that she was gonna, you know, wish be wish washy again. I don't hold grudges. Like, it's not cute to hold a grudge on someone. Granted, that don't mean I gotta talk to them be friends. I could be cordial, because, you know, that's how I am. But it's just a lot. Like, and she just wonders why no one wants to really be with her. Like, girl, throwing your cootie cat at everyone is not gonna make them watch you. Because you try throwing it at me and you see where I'm at. Living my best life. Not worried about you. Because, girl, if you're toxic, imagine that's probably toxic. Toxic Betty. That's exactly what she is, a toxic Betty. And I just, I can't be around that this year. I don't have time for it because she going to make me end up having to um, go crazy. And I know if I go crazy, my school swear. They be like, oh, my God, you're such, you're a boy. You're really big. You cannot be going back and forth with these females. I understand they're trying you, but you can't do that. And it's like. But, like, you know, when stuff builds up, you can't just, like, keep holding it in. You have to let it out. You have to let it out. So, I can't. I don't understand her, but I can't get crazy with her. If I get crazy with her, they're going to try to get my prom, and they take my prom. <laughs> I'm put on a show. They think I'm crazy now. I'm going to show them crazy. I will put on a show if they ever try to get my prom. Because <laughs> dealing with her, I'm going to have to... Because, <laughs> honey... I can't do 
all year. Like, I can't do the, you try to be cute, try to be funny, try to do little stupid slick stuff. Because they be girl, at the end of the day, no, you're the one hurting. I'm over here living my best life. To be honest, I don't have time for all that. Because, you know, I love everyone. I have a lot of pride, which sometimes I get put to the side. I have friends who I adore, so I don't need you, baby. Love yourself, because that attitude you have going on over there, no one's going to want to love you. No one's going to want to love you. No one at all. Because, <sighs> sweetheart, you're just really toxic. I just, I don't understand her. Brittany is just very toxic. She just needs to get her life together. Like, and it's not like it's the first time we've had an issue. Like, since freshman year, like every year, sweetie just just try. She just tries to like get under my skin. And when I before in the past, I like I allowed her to get under my skin, which didn't end cute like at all. And I feel like this year, I don't have time for that. There's so much other stuff going on in my life. And I don't need to be bothered with Britney and her shenanigans. Because, sweetie, I'm always going to be good. I'm always going to be great. Whether I become a singer, actor, TV, sh TV show host, radio host, anything, journalist. I'm going to be a baddie. I'm going to live my best life and be happy. But, like, when you just, when someone just, like... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's a cry for help. Like, when you're just so, like, all the time. Like, I don't, I don't understand the pettiness every day. I can't do it. It's toxic. So, Brittany, I hope you see this, baby girl, because I want you to know I pray for you. I love you. But get it together, because you keep trying me, and it's not going to end cute for you. Because nothing can ever happen to me, baby. I'm gorgeous. I'm always going to be cute. But you... The attitude you have going on over there, it's not going to end well. So, get it together because you're going to get to college and you're going to meet your match. And huh, we know you can't fight. So, with that, to all my subscribers, I love you guys. And that's the end of the story time. Bye.